round. Looking at the order of play after that thrilling three game thriller at the start, 64 minutes that took. Up next, it's the home pair of Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida. The women's doubles taking on Lisa Jolly and Gayatri Kopichan Pulela. Looking at the women's doubles, well, that's the big news so far, of course, that top match was actually playing on court one. Pauli Tan and Tina have fallen to Chen and Jia, who are again make another quarterfinal this year, number one seeds, and they will be waiting for the winner of this match between Matsuyama and Shida. Jolly and Kudela, but still in the mix. Uh, Fukushima and Hirota, Miyara and Sakuramoto in the all-Japanese round two match at the bottom, and of course, Kitty Taruko and Prajongjai, who've done very well so far this week, taking on another Japanese pair, Hirokami and Keito. Nice evolving draw in the women's doubles. And if you look at it in terms of the seeds, well, still all of them in the mix. As I said, only Zhang and Zheng were out the first round. Jong Na Ern and Kim Hai Jong, the defending champions. They, of course, withdrew from this tournament. And the number six seeds, Apriana Rahayu and Siti Ramanhanti, also out in the first round as well. And here they come. And I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot of home cheers for the home pair. It's a very young pair, actually, Jolly and Kulela. Shida and Matsuyama, well established in terms of anything along the women's double scene. Ready for the coin toss here. Head to head first meeting. This could go absolutely anywhere. First toss, red and black. Red, black for you. A very capable pair, Matsuyama and Shida. Ten titles on the World Tour. But, funnily enough, not the Japan Open. They have yet to win at home. But they picked up Super 750s, 1000s, the Indonesia Open last year. That was a 1000 win for them. In fact, double winners at that level. And lots of 500s, the Singapore Open as well. Said very capable pair, 25 years old now, Nami Matsuyama. Born in Fukuoka in Japan. Currently seventh and has been as high as number two. That was at the end of 2022. Also played mixed doubles as well. There's her partner, Chiharu Shida. He's six years old from Akita. As I said, ten titles, nine runner-up spots. And always a good bet for the quarterfinals, really. And they were the ones, in fact, that defeated Rahayu and Ramadhanti. The six seeds, 66 minutes. That took three games. They already dropped a game this week. Now, Teresa Jolly, 20 years old. From Kerala in India. Currently ranked 19th. Has been as high as 14. That was earlier this year. Also plays mixed doubles with Hodgson. And there is her partner. Actually, Gopacharan Palello, also 20 years old. Ready to play. Some young, enthusiastic pair. Come up with a couple of results and beat a home pair on the way here in 65 minutes, three games. Ayaka Hobara. Well, it's going to be tough for them with the home fans in attendance here in this wonderful Yogi National First Gymnasium. There's our umpire, Rohana De Silva. Joined by our service judge, Please. Eddie Susanto from Singapore.
as usual. This is going to come down to great teamwork and combination, and who's better at it? I'm expecting a fast-paced match. Both pairs like to attack. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Gayakri Gopichan Pullela and Krista Joli, India. And on my left, Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida, Japan. Gayatri Gopichan Pullela to serve to Chiharu Shida, low wall. Play. So we get underway. And Jolly and Pulela are going to be looking for a good win if they can get it to continue their campaign. Looking for their second title. They won the Odisha Open last year. They're going to have to be at top form to take out Matsuyama and Shida. Shot rally. I'm oh, just setting the parameters of this match. Rana de Silva. And one thing you have to say about Jolene Pulela, of course. Silver medalist at last year's Commonwealth Games. That's a testament to their quality. Great coverage from Sheeda. Good rotation as well. Court napping at the front. Service over one all. He's generally always looking for that power game. Now it's going to be all about defending this first game by the looks of it. Yama and Shida so far I just had to push back from these big big shots coming in from the back court especially from Jolly That's a good body shot from Matsuyama service over two all Out of the air by Sheeta. Found that angle well. Exactly Matsuyama in the end. Correction. No flat drive into the corner. And that's what Jolly and Pelele are going to have to look out for. Spaces opening up their very young pair. Movement around the point. It's always so important in women's doubles if you're going to create these opportunities and openings. and. Just like on that, All right, even right now, just so much space on the left. That was spotted well by Jolly. You just see those spaces opening up left and right. Three, all. They've got to watch themselves, not bunch up. It'll be too vertical or too lateral. Of course, 
Oh, I'm talking about that. Actually, one of the great pairs, Kim and Kong. Kim So Young and Kong. Yeah, absolutely incredible at movement. Of course, Chen and Jar as well. Already through to the quarterfinals. Again, a little bit of space there. Johnny moves over nicely. Service over. Four, three. Matsuyama and Shida, the world number seven pairing. They'll start warming up soon. When they do, that's going to be quite the impact. Not that significant this week. I haven't really seen it so much in doubles anyway, but that one definitely long. And it was just intentionally pushed too long. Four. Well, smart play from Matsuyama and Shida. Really is the higher ranked pairing. Five, All they have to do is soak up the pressure. Forced error count should be higher. That's the younger side of the net. If they can play those two factors well and find the openings like that, then this could be a very good performance from them. Again, caught very vertical. Tony Bolela. 6 4. Dominant front court, just the right hitting height. Straight to the floor. about unforced errors. Of course, Matsuyama and Shida are going to have to watch out for their own. Again, like many of these top players actually had a glittering junior career as well. Double gold medalist at the World Junior Championships in 2016. Where she was actually partnered with Ayaka Hobara. Won her first senior title. At one of my favorite tournaments simply for its name. Smiling Fish International Seven. Tournament in Eight. Thailand. It's good play from Jolly. Up behind that.
tried to intercept that. Well picked up by Shida. <laughs> oh, got a bit too tight around the net. Seven. And that's and Shida doing exactly what I said, just soaking up as much of this attack as they can. Just playing off their opponents as opposed to crafting out their own winners. And it's 10 7. Closing in on the mid game interval. Nice flat return from Jolly. Yeah, and they're a bit vertical. Good reward in that top left corner. So 11 8 at the mid game interval. And while Jolly and Pulela have really put in a good performance, still nothing really serious for Matsu, Matsuyama and Shida to deal with. Looking good so far. Back on court for the second half of game one. Just to add to that glittering junior title I was telling you about, what well, Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida are actually playing Chen and Jiao as far back as 2015 in the girls' doubles junior championships. It's incredible the pyramid. See all these young players come through and become champions. So many of them, of course, not just in doubles. Now, what can Jolly and Pulela do in this second half of game one? Jumped in, intercepted that return. And just moving around that replay. Still on one point back now. Good string of points from the Union Pep. Well, 
of all. He's done well all the way back to this first game. It's a costly one Service for Chihara Rashida. 13, Much power coming in, and they've now 14 strung off a good run of points. Two point lead. Hey. Hey. And the rise of Indian doubles pairs continues. To be honest, they're playing a lot like leaders in that field right now. Satwig and Chirag, and they're up next on court two. say no significant problems for Matsuyama and Shida at the mid-game interval now that's changed a little bit that outlook they haven't been able to get a look in these last three points yeah. the last four points mistakes creeping in left and right 16 win. And certainly a different situation now for sure Much better. Really dominant. Just needed to punctuate that point, rattle their opponents a little. Now they seem to be back on track. Done well here. He holds Colleen Palello at 16. Wonderful shot. Just a bit long. Good idea though, finding more space. Especially in the backcourt area, the Indian pair. 16 all, everything to play for in this first game. Deep return. Over 17, 16. Have a look at how high she got up for that. of context you could say that Matsuyama and Shida have actually made this a lot more difficult for themselves in this first game couple of errors first of all to let their opponents get ahead now the clawback is good still not 100% now they're working again off 
The unforced errors of the much younger 18, pair. 17. And this finally looking like they might be able to jump ahead and steal this first game. But still a chance for Jolly and Pulella. Soaked up well. That's a great rally. Yamashita just looking for an opening, just testing. Oh, it's a drop in the end. I did say, can't stay too vertical and they can't stay too lateral, and that's what happens if you're too lateral. Caught napping at the front, settling back into these big shots, and before you know it, Matsuyama just drops into that front court. 49 shot, longest rally, definitely rally of the match so far. Close. Nineteen all. That could come down to the wire. That was right in front of her. It's a golden chance now for Jolene Pulele if they can just get one of these big shots in, and they have. Oh, first shot at the game. They've gifted a few points, they've won a few points. But now, all of that doesn't matter. They've got a game point against the higher ranked Matsuyama and Shida. Mistake again. No extra points in this first game. First to two or first to 30, whichever comes first. As I said, Matsuyama and Machida definitely have made this a little bit more difficult for themselves than it probably could have been. But if they could just maintain focus and play out these rallies, the chances are their younger opposition are going to make the mistake. But it is difficult with the power that they're facing. And now it starts. Oh, well, well. Service over 21 20. It's another game point for Jolly and Pulera. Too high. Service over 21 all. Yeah, appreciate the idea. Go for the deep serve, but it has to be executed just right. Clear winner. 
That's our first game point. Yama and Chida. Out of the book right now. Japanese pair. Jolene Pulella defending well. <laughs> well, Matsuyama knew exactly where she was going to put that last shot. Just off the shoulder, as I said earlier. Difficult for them. Well, I wonder how many neutrals would have expected that scoreline off the first game. And as I said, they were their own worst enemy at times. Still, they've taken that 25 minutes on court. This match back on track. ね、あと相手高い球上げたら Okay. back on court already eager to get underway with game two. Matsuyama and Shida taking a far more leisurely stroll back on court. And they'll now play with the confidence of having that first game in the bag. And of course, on course for a sixth quarter final this year if they can make it. And winners Second in Canada. Game. Low wall. Winners at the play. India Open earlier in the year. Quarter finalists at uh, the Singapore Open, the Malaysian Masters. Hey. And also runners up at the German Open for Jolene Pulela. Just that third finish at the All England. Well, second quarter final for them if they can make it, but of course that's going to depend on whether they can play their uh, hearts out here in the second game. That's good pressure from Pulela. Service over. One low. Has that been called in? Yes, it has. Masterful shot off the serve. One all. Perfect interception. Oh, look at that replay. I hadn't, don't know why I contested that. That was clearly in. The shots just have to be timed absolutely perfectly. That's a nice response from Jolly. Two, one. a lot of promise for this young Indian pairing. Just 20 years old, both of them. You can already see they've got the power part of the game sorted out. Still working on some of the other parts of their game. Well, that's 
Thompson staying in. Service over three, two. Point gifted. Three, all. Well, you still get the feeling that Hatsuyama and Shida have an extra gear that they can get into. They haven't been allowed to use that gear. Thanks to the good scrappy fighting of Trolling Pereira, who's just looking to get straight onto the power at earliest opportunity in every point. Chat there between Jolly and Ohana de Silva. Well, Unforced is creeping in. Jolly and Puller this game now. 6-3. Three. Six, three. Good solid lead. I'll see how many she did. Watched him out. See how many before knows that he can easily defend much better than that. It's the odd shot turning up here, which is a little too low. And before you know it, Charlie and Pulele with a chance to get straight back in. 4 6 on serve. Absolutely been led into the game. Wonderfully intercepted. So it's over seven five. It's the difference when you get into the set pattern of play. If you can just jump in, change the course of it. And it's an important point as well to maintain the two-point lead. And hats off to Jolly and Pulele for what they do. And what they do is of course have the power of Jolly and have that roving force at the net from Pulele. And being a young pair, they'll be adding more and more variations to that game. But when they do get that combination sorted out, then it really does work well for them. But for some of the top pairs, it's really a question of just waiting out the attack, finding that angle. Could jump in for the interception or just look out straight for the winner. While saying that, of course. Great drop shot from Six, Jolly. Seven. Oh, it was Pulera actually. It's moving in from the left side. Keeping pace with the score. Hey. It's 
on left. Yeah, I think they'll be lucky. He looked out. Oh! I stand corrected. Very well placed. Seven all. And that's the point. That's a smile there from Sheeta. That's the point that draws him level at seven apiece. And now they move ahead. late take that's usually what happens when you're caught out of position Nine, so two-point lead and once again Matsuyama and Shida have just allowed their opponents back into this game that's the only way you can look at it they were really in firm control just taking a little step back in terms of focus and you just can't do that with a pair that's as enthusiastic and fiery as Jolene Pulela. Lofted over. Ten, nine. And just Ten. too tight. Caught a little bit flat, but that really was a gorgeous shot to the backcourt. Victim. Over. No lack of focus. That was a good shot in from Jolly. Didn't have to play it for the line. Ah! Nice, very nice. So, second mid-game interval. Still not 100% from Matsuyama and Shida, but they managed to edge ahead 11 <laughs> So a crucial phase of game two for Jolene Pulela. They need to push ahead if they can. It's another mistake from Tiam and Shida. Remember in the first game, this is where they really took off and forced the grandstand finish. 
which they eventually lost 23-21. If they can make a far more concerted effect now, it's another mistake into the net. And that's the thing with unforced errors. Because if you're making a lot of them, then your opponents are going to know there's always that chance where they can get a free point. Just the time you want it to. 12 all. Good shot into the corner. enough at the rate of mistakes that are being made on both sides of the net two points just not enough right now the attack good push there from cheetah good work in fact from backcourt oh, great rally longest rally of the match I'm thinking and really credit to Jolene Pulele for being you know, so far and defending stoutly on the right side and Pulela and Jolly are beginning to stretch I was just about to say they kept their position so well for that rally but then they were just fraying and then pulling apart and it was well spotted by Hatsuyama and Shida they kept plugging that hole before you know it 99 shot rally that's what it's all about. I don't think we're going to see that beaten today, or at least not in this match. But credit to both of them, both pairs, for sticking in it for that long. You just saw Jolly and Palella pulling apart a little bit at the end. That space was getting a little bit too hard to manage. But 99 shots fighting for each point. And the umpire rightly gives them a little break after that. 15, 12. Hey. Oh, that's just wonderful. Again. Jolene Pulele caught too vertical on the left side. 
and look how easy it was to just fire a winner into the other side. Four points ahead, five points needed after 44 minutes on court and all looking good for the home pair. the tempo up. 17 win. And they've just made this burst of points at the right time. say Matsuyama and she had, had another gear and I think we're beginning to see that now at the end of the second game 18. moving well combining well playing speed firing off winners still keeping that awareness of where their opponents are find the spaces six points ahead three needed numbers not looking too bad at all to aim at. And sometimes those are the easiest shots to miss. Because you're so sure in your mind that it's going to go in. Just like Michael's second, you take your focus off it. And it's lost. Well, we have a buffer. A chance here for Jolly and for them. Great movement from Matsuyama and Shida. Almost as if they're tied on a string. That's what you want. Oh. Like that might stretch them, but no. And then it's an easy shot miss. It's not critical yet, but this could be a run. Chances from here. On serve, two points needed. Oh. Court. Service over 15 19. Jolly. 
Well, she just saw her opportunity when Jolly was on the floor, but they did well anyway in that point, and so it's four match points. So we saw the and they're looking in strong Red form. Point. They will, of course, face Chen and Jia in their sixth quarter final if they can convert one of these. But of course, it'll be a great boost for all the home fans here at the Yogi National First Gymnasium. See another home pair make it through the quarterfinals. Not quite yet. That's one save. Service over 17 20. Covered. <laughs> oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe we will see that 99 shot rally count bettered. And it's another match point saved left it right till the end still not out of it yet a lot is going to depend on this service everything at the moment. And that's another one saved. Well, they had four match points. And now they've got just one. Huge burst of effort from Jolene Pulele, much as they did in the first game. don't convert this last match point then psychologically that's going to really affect them but they did it was a beautiful disguise drop from the backcourt again would any neutral have expected this score line I don't know 23 21 21 19 53 minutes on court. So the, the fastest of paces. But they've done it, and it's a sixth quarter final for them. Looking for their third title of the year after wins in Canada and India. Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida, the world number seven pair. Through to the quarterfinals. <laughs> And there's confirmation of it, 23-21, 21-19, 53 minutes. And the home pair continue their charge here at Jacker Panoken. <laughs> <laughs> 